Welcome back. Did you guys know that as of this newest update, there's a brand new duplication glitch that's as easy as just breaking the driver's seat of any vehicle. And if you don't believe me, I'll show you right now because every single time you do it, it just duplicates all of the resources that are required to build one of these things. So I'll put a large driver's seat down to share an example. As you can see, it takes four planks, two granite, and two cord. So if I get rid of everything in my inventory and I break it, you'll see that I'm going to get eight planks and then four of every other resource. Let me go ahead and collect everything. And there you go. So for whatever reason, you're that down bad and you really need planks, cord, or a few pieces of granite then there you go anyway that is only one of the many things that i will be attempting in today's video to check out what's new in the mechanical mayhem update honestly after i uploaded my video yesterday i didn't have a lot of free time to play around with the update today i do so i want to show you guys some of the stuff that i have learned and later in this video we're also gonna continue on the exploration that we're currently struggling with if you watched last episode with the hauler we'll get to that later the first thing that i wanted to point out is that if you leave your villagers on wait a sec Second. That is a new villager right there. That is Lynx. Wait, uh, yeah, it is. So Lynx showed up to our village. That's absolutely insane. We have an empty spot in our village. Sorry, this was not supposed to be a village update, but we just got Lynx. That's very cool. That's actually one of the new villagers. So if you guys didn't know, and I didn't know this, but Lynx will show up to your village along with, I'm assuming, the other two. And by the other two, I mean Jules and Comet from the newest update. Anyway, before I got distracted, what I was trying to show you guys was that if you assign your villagers to work on the compost bin, they will give you biomass. And as you can see, 22 biomass is not too bad. But as we all know, we have five villagers in every village. So if you just take two or three of them and assign them to the compost bin, you'll increase the amount that you can generate by a ton because all of us that have played the update so far know that this compost bin behind me is the slowest item in all of this game i mean that might be an exaggeration but yeah things are made very very slowly when you throw them inside of here i could fall asleep watching this bar go but lucky for all of us somebody on reddit went in and actually found the energy density and effectiveness of every single item that can be placed inside of a compost bin i'm gonna zoom it in on screen for you guys pause at any time but basically this breaks down effectively how every item is processed inside as you can see when you get up to the very top there's a few items that give you three biomass but at that point i don't even know why you would put something like that inside and i think the biggest takeaway is highlighted in green and it's that bones are actually probably one of the best items to use with how abundant bones are especially when you have villagers fighting skeletons all night i feel like most of the time it is going to be the best one to use but that's the whole chart i personally found this super useful so i hope you guys find it useful as well and in terms of hidden secrets that's most of the ones that I know. However, there's one more thing that I want to test throughout the rest of this video, and it's talking to Lynx here and assigning her to the resource job of the compost bin. So let's see what Lynx does on there. I showed this on screen earlier, but it literally says that these three villagers should help with vehicles. So I'm not sure what that means. And I'm really hoping that maybe Lynx just gives you even more biomass. We already saw what my other two villagers gave me. So throughout the rest of this video, we're going to see what Lynx gives us. I'm really hoping it's like a stack of 50 or something but you'll have to stay tuned to find out anyway we gotta play with more vehicles because like i said last episode i didn't get to do it much and i need to continue on what we were working on because i have a hauler out in the middle of nowhere stuck with a bunch of my valuable resources on the back and i feel like that can't happen so we're gonna go ahead and get over there but if you guys are new to the channel or you're not yet subscribed go ahead and subscribe for daily lego fortnite content guys we are so back also join my discord down below i'm gonna start gifting out a ton of sets from the item shop to users in my discord we're gonna set up multiple giveaways a week and you guys don't want to miss it anyway let's get started we ended off last episode here where we were building our second hauler unfortunately i didn't at the time have any of the resources i needed i kind of forgot that i literally have storage here so i can grab some of the resources that i might need it's pitch dark out here i'm gonna go ahead and finish building this hauler and i'll catch you guys when i'm done okay so it is light outside i did not finish the build yet because i need a lot of wooden rods until i realized i could literally just abandon the build and i think it's pretty much done anyway i'm not going to remove it from its stand though because there are some tweaks starting out with just destroying this because i don't even think that this is necessary and i'll throw one of these guys on for good measures but i think that's about it from this new hauler only difference is that this time we're gonna go to the back of it and smack on some large thrusters okay so we have three of these on here i'm not sure if they're in the right spot but that's something we're just gonna test like i said this episode is all about experimentation because i haven't really experimented much anyway Anyway, let's go ahead and take off the bottom now. So we'll remove this and 
The car is still floating. Not sure why that's happening, but it's all right. Cause if we get in the driver's seat, it should readjust itself, maybe possibly. And no, it's not going to, it's just gonna stay stuck in the air. What's going on? I'm boosting, I'm using my battery. Uh, okay, well, is it because there's an arrow on it? Is it because there's an arrow under? What? Why is this car floating? I'm gonna back out and rejoin. Maybe it'll fix itself. I have no idea. And okay, that didn't change anything. <laughs> We're off to a great start with this. Um, okay. We're under the hood. What can we do to fix this? Maybe we break one of these. No, that's not gonna do anything. What if I break the whole platform? Well, that wasn't smart either. Like, why is this still floating here? What's going, I'm getting trolled. Okay, let's try to rebuild this thing. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Now what I need to do are throw back on the thrusters, of course. This looks nothing like the original hauler, but you know what? DIY sometimes is the best way to go. Let's see if it works. Okay, okay, we're driving this time. Can we? Oh, and we could boost forward. Oh, wow, okay. The one thing I'm concerned about is, wait, why am I still? Oh no, oh no, oh no, not the trees. Okay, now we're stuck on this. The one thing I'm concerned about is that red health bar that just goes down every single time I move it. It's basically done, so. Oh, so that's the battery life. So I guess I wasted an entire battery just doing that. I know it wasn't full when I got in, but still batteries kind of die quickly. Okay, good to know. We do have one more pretty big problem and it's that we are currently stuck down here with no hope of getting up any hill and I got to get over a big hill in order to get back to the grasslands biome. As you can see, there's a hill in front of us. We need to get up that. This is just the worst vehicle of all time. Like I can't even move. We'll use our thruster here. Okay, we're going the wrong way. We're just going the wrong way now this car is so bad bro oh my goodness like i ca i can't drive it i just can't drive this thing let's go ahead and take our power cells and let's just destroy this entire thing to get our resources back because we are not dealing with this thing anymore okay so over the next hour or so i tried different ways of elevating these chests up and sending them into the grasslands biome as you can tell it was not working out and on my closest attempt i forgot to put the thruster back on the back so it went the wrong direction so we made it back unsuccessful and i absolutely hated everything about that adventure let me know what you guys think of the cars down below oh man that was rough for me guys i'm gonna be honest i thought i was gonna be able to do that like a breeze and unfortunately that just was not true we're collecting a bunch of bones so we can throw them inside of the compost bin and while we're on the topic of the compost bin let's actually just get links over here wherever she is so there she is okay it's time to see how much biomass she got us obviously this was supposed to be the one that was going to help us with vehicles so when we click get biomass that's gotta be a joke. Oh, I am just getting trolled this entire video. I don't know what to say anymore. Maybe I needed to give her more time. I mean, I was AFK for a little bit, so maybe she wasn't doing work when I was AFK. Who knows? We're gonna keep her around and I'll keep you guys updated on that because unfortunately, um, we're gonna need her to do a little bit better than that. But because I have not been successful with my hauler, I'm gonna go ahead and just spoil everything that's inside. I wanted to keep it a secret, but unfortunately that's just not working out right now. I believe somewhere out there there is a cargo ship with all of my loot on it so let's go get it okay um that's not a good way to start and here it is nestled up against a tree what do you know it's all of my valuables like i said if i show you the insides of these chests you'll realize that i'm not lying at all let me actually just get them out of the trees first but if we open up some of these oops i just turned on the jets as we go through these chests here are a ton of my blue items a ton of natural resources as well and if we jump up top we have all of our purple items along with our building materials and so on just a lot of very good loot and as you can see there's the reason we're doing this guys we are going back home i wish i was telling you this as we were in front of our grasslands village but like i said this hill in front of us has been the biggest struggle of our lives on this game but yeah once i figure out how to get all of these chests up this hill and over 
way yonder. I believe it's in this direction, just way up there. It's so far, I just don't want to transport things inventory by inventory. I'd rather travel there with a vehicle. That's why I was so excited for this update, and that's why I'm so bummed out, and I've been talking about it and trying it for so long, because I genuinely do need the stuff down there, and I also just realized that there is a brute spawn right next to all my chests. That's not good. But yeah, I just got to make sure that thing stays safe. As I go back to my village and figure out what's next, if y'all have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments, because I'm kind of lost for ideas at the moment. After I wrap up today's video, I'm probably going to go in the sandbox for a few hours and try to make a plane that actually works. Like I said, though, that will be in tomorrow's video because I'm really eager to get back to my first ever village. If you guys haven't been following the channel for that long, you probably don't even know about the Grasslands Village, although I'm assuming a lot of you do. I think my Grasslands Village is pretty iconic and I'm excited to get back there. Anyway, we're going to test out one more thing in this new update for now. I just went through my storage room and I grabbed all of the grapples that I've used. I keep them even if they just have a few shots for this exact reason because we are going to test to see if they fix the grapple refresh method if you were not aware a few months ago people found out that there was a new grapple refresh method where you basically just had to get eliminated with the grapples in your inventory so i can actually just come over here and respawn manually when you get back up before you grab your backpack what you were supposed to do was basically fill out every slot in your inventory and with every inventory slot filled up if you pick up your backpack the grapples drop on the floor you're supposed to merge everything and when you pick them up they should be fresh and wow they did not patch it so as you can see we have three refresh grapples and oh my goodness okay wait that's actually kind of insane i feel like i just answered my question i know it's gonna take a very long time to travel to my village i keep talking about how far it is but i might just use grapple refreshes and get there super quickly i'm gonna do that off camera for sure because i'm just gonna be traveling back and forth like six times using grapples which is gonna take forever but that doesn't sound like a horrible method and i'm very happy to report that the grapple refresh method is also still in the game anyway stay tuned to tomorrow's episode because it's gonna be much longer i think that the grapple method is what i'm probably gonna end up using oh that's gonna be a lot of transporting but um yeah i think i'm gonna do that anyway before we end off this one one more time we're gonna hit up Lynx and see if she has anything she just has some soil maybe i just haven't given her enough time to work but it's just confusing because i've been on this server forever how about fist stick give me something better give me something better to end off this video biomass two Okay. Today ain't my day on the game. I hope you guys found something useful out of today's video. I wanted to highlight a bunch of stuff that was not in the patch notes that you might not have known about. If you learned anything or found this video helpful, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you are not for daily LEGO Fortnite videos. We are so back. Join the Discord, like I said, and I will catch y'all in tomorrow's longer video where we're going to be doing a lot of traveling. But yeah, I'm going to sign out for now. It's been your boy Kaz. Thank you so, so much for watching all the way until the end. Peace.